Hey, what's up guys? I'm heading out again for another episode of Flatty Daddies. This is going to be a solo trip tonight. I'm heading down to Foulmouth. Uh, I've talked about it before. It's one of my favorite places, but it's also one of my least favorite places. It's Saturday night. It's going to be swamped with people. The conditions are great. It's a super hot day. We just had a thunderstorm roll through and now it's completely clear again. Um, but there's going to there's gonna be so many people out here. Uh, I'm going to do like a carp fishing trip kind of in the beginning here. Uh, I'm going to go to the one creek. I know there's a lot of carp up there. Uh, I'll fish there till right about twilight and then I'll head up, uh, kind of elbow in with everybody else and uh, try for some flatheads. I really have a good feeling about tonight. I think I'm going to get into a decent one. All right, stay tuned. Hey guys, so I'm uh, I'm heading into my secret carp hole that I've never actually fished for carp at, uh, but I've catfished here a couple times. You've probably seen it in my videos. Uh, I know there's a lot of carp back here. I've seen them jumping. I've seen them on the fish finder. Um, it's it's a very carpy place. It's a creek that comes out into the Susquehanna, but as you can see, getting into it, pretty dicey. Uh, there's rocks all over in here until you get into the into the creek itself so i just gotta take it slow i mean you can see the bottom bring my motor up so i think uh i think i'm gonna be all right i know i beached my old boat here once but i know this one can make it so we'll get in here get set up and fish for maybe an hour or two for some carp and then we're gonna head back up there for the real fish okay with it being so shallow coming up here I'm pretty sure I probably spooked whatever was real close to me, so I'm actually going to cast up the creek. Uh, there's next to no current. I mean, there's actually there's no current. Nothing's moving. So I don't have to worry about my line getting slack, but I'm going to try to wing it up there. Up down of where I scared everything. It might have been a foot or two deep there. Sorry, though. This leaves carp around. Forge and feed him. And this next one is going to go right out there. Whew, it's, a, it's a sweaty night. Uh, I was hoping that rainstorm would maybe cool it down a little bit, but man, is it, it's humid and sweaty and just just hot. Can't wait till it gets dark, but it's still going to be hot. But uh, come midnight, I'm sure it'll be cool enough to be comfortable. Uh, carp aren't going to care, the catfish aren't going to care. So I got to deal with it. Oh man, those guys are eager to catch some fish tonight. I see it. They want some of those flatties. I'm going to give it to them here soon. Alright guys, I've been here for about an hour and nothing, nothing's taken. I, I should have got here earlier and I should give this longer, but it's, it's killing me. I know those flatheads are right out there and I know the longer I sit here, the more boats are going to be stacked up right where all i want to be fishing so i'm gonna to have to go up there and muscle for rank right now and uh get there as early as i can ma manage so say goodbye carp you got lucky this time all right so there's kind of a, a debate you know, everybody's got their own way of hooking these sunnies or their bait and uh, you know some people like to go back here some people like to go here um, I actually find uh, in higher current stronger current I like to go up here and keep them facing like this in the water you know facing the current so they don't seem to drown or die as fast uh, but there when there's no current 
kind of nice to hook them here. They get a lot more action. They seem to live a little bit longer, but it's got to be pretty still. So this guy and this current I'm going to hook up here. He's pretty small too. This one's only got a 7 knot hook on it, so I just like to do that. Put a little bit of a, an angle so it can't double hook itself as much. Get those scales off. You're good to go. So put this little guy on. Maybe, maybe he'll get me a channel, a big channel, or just flathead. I mean, they're coming off the spawn. So the little guys that didn't spawn, we'll go for them. Uh, probably just overthinking it. Didn't take long to get him in this mag here. This place is famous for it, and I've got mono on, and that sucks. Already. We didn't get that tangle off untied or uh, redone. That's that one with the smaller. Ah, that's a decent fish on there. It's not a giant, but it's decent. It's probably on there, but I'll give him a little bit. I want to see that rod go down. tangled up. Uh, he's either really small or he got off. Uh, he's just a little guy. Very, very small. Rolling, doing all that little guy stuff. Flathead though. Was it the demon dragon, or was it just the right spot? It's probably just the right spot. This nice little guy, start the night off. Quantity's not bad. I'd like to at least get at least one, one quantity here, or quality. But little guys are fun. Oh, my hands are slippery. I gotta make sure I don't lose this camera here. Well, I only had 16 sunnies for bait tonight. I didn't do too well. Didn't have a whole lot of time. Um, so there's two down already with the, with the snag and that. So 14. It could be an early night. Maybe I'll go back to carp fishing. I don't know. Stay tuned, we'll find out. Guys, I want to show you this. I uh, cast it out and decided I wanted to go somewhere else. And I got into that line that I broke earlier. So we're going to put that over there and see if I can't do something with that. But what are the odds I actually got into that already? So. All right, let's do another cast in here. I'm, I'm just going to lob it out because it's up and down through here. I don't want to go too far. It's right in there. Um, I was getting hung up a lot right out there. This ledge. It's tapping again. I don't know if it's a fish. Or what. Okay, so check this out, guys. Check this out. I just got all my stuff back. There's my sunny. There's my weight. There's everything. <laughs> That's the one I was having trouble. I got snagged up earlier. I just brought everything in because that, that one hooked it again. That's awesome. That is awesome. I don't know how it worked. Some kind of voodoo magic. Don't care. Got my sunny back, got my tackle back. I'm happy. Good night. Yeah. 
it might have a little bit of size. I don't know if you can see this current is strong as always. It doesn't feel super heavy though. At least swimming up. That's a good sign. Might be a 10 pounder or so. I'm gonna work them over this way. So I'll just have to edit all this out here. Ah, he's in my other line. Not super big. Short. A lot like that other guy, maybe just a scotch heavier. Beat that run fast. He's gonna be a little bit bigger. Fish. I'm gonna have to put the light on here soon. Another little guy, he's a fish. They feel so heavy in this stuff. Man. Oh god. It's definitely bigger than the others though. Missing an eyeball, like it was never even there. Not bad. Uh, looking like a world of hurts about to come down. I don't care about rain, but there's a lot of lightning going on and it's getting pretty close. So I don't know. I might be going over to the bank and sitting in the truck for a little bit. We'll see what it does. Ooh, you see that? I think you got that one on film. That, uh, that was a bolt to the ground. I'll give it like another five minutes and I might be pulling up and heading over to the bank. Not done fishing though. Just sometimes you gotta wait them out. All right, guys, I went in for a little bit. Actually, like right, right when I went back in, it kind of stopped doing the worst of it. Is the front that went through. The lightning's mostly passed. They're getting a little flash here and there, but the bolts are pretty much gone. So I came back out, got in a different position, and I'm gonna give it another shot here. 
hopefully uh, I can fish until my bait runs out. So, I'll give it another shot. That didn't take long. going on here with the camera. I'm sorry guys. this way now. Oh, that's it. Uh, this is when fishing alone is not that fun. Trying to net these guys are tough. Oh, oh yeah, he's he's definitely 20s. Yeah, how am I gonna get this net situated? Please stay on buddy, I need you. I don't know if you guys can see him yet. That's on the demon dragon. Out there in that deep. Oh man, he needs to go down and swim up. Right now he's just using his body in that current. Can't do a dang thing about it. I think he's hooked fairly decent. Yeah, he's right in the corner now. Come on, get in there. Yeah! Yeah! Woo! That was a battle, guys. Hopefully you were able to see it. Mid to high 20s, I'd say. Let's bring him down into here. So we can see what we got. Oh yeah. That's an interesting hook. Let's let me show this to you guys. Look at that. Huh. It's interesting there. It was it's on there pretty good, but I've ever hooked them like that before. Sorry. Hopefully I edited that out because that was probably a little crazy. There's a flatty. 
fish was worth dying for came back out pretty much right after I went back in because it stopped go figure so get away I think he's he's pushing 30 not quite I don't think but he's close come on he's going all over 28. It's 29. We'll call him 28 and a half. That's a good fish. The question is, how do I get a good picture? Look at that guy again. All right. Now I'm gonna set this GoPro in picture mode. Maybe that'll work. Well guys, this is what we come out here for. Uh, some of you this might not be a monster for me. 28 pound fish is a good fish any day of the week. Uh, any night of the week. Anytime you come out, I'd love to catch a fish this size. Um, yeah, I'm gonna keep this guy, or I'm gonna let this guy go here soon, but man, he was a battle. I thought he was small at first, I really did, and then when he got up to the boat, I said no. No, I, you ain't having me. And he just took off again. So, let me get another picture here. Now I'm gonna let this dude go over here. Oh, I don't like how slippery my hands are trying to work this camera. place it is freaking awesome hope you guys enjoyed it as much as i did look at this little sabotage i just found that would have been a no go if a big guy got on there on there and he's hungry. Okay, stay on. Ah, little guy again. Ah, got a little bit to him. Doing a lot of head shaking, but he's he's got a little bit of weight. Might be a I break 10 pounds. Oh, he's gonna pop that hook. Barely enough. Got him. Woo, that hook is barely in there. Look at guys. Uh, well, I guess it's doing more than I thought. Good night. Woo. Seven pounder, maybe. Nothing too crazy. Six or seven. Hey guys, so it's uh, it's about 12:30, maybe a little bit later, and it's gonna be about a half hour till I get my boat loaded up, and then an hour drive home. So I'm not gonna stay out super late tonight. I might give it another 20 minutes, but uh, it's been a really good night so far. A lot of small guys, and then that one big big guy, 28 pounder. 
that's my biggest flathead of the year. So I gotta say it's a good night. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed watching this. And if you did, click that like button and subscribe and you'll see some more videos like this. I put one out almost every week right now. So, all right, thanks for watching.